dear viewers to a new episode of BZB from Germany and today we have the question and answer series are you afraid to break an old doll? well this is a really good question and I would like to talk a little bit about this topic today you have probably seen one or two of my videos or more and I I sometimes work with vintage dolls, the really old ones, and probably some of you are afraid to break these dolls because they cost a lot of money and when you restore them it's not so good when you ruin them. So here is my advice when you are afraid to break old dolls. So let's change the location. So let me tell you a story. That here is my very very first reroute I ever did in my whole life. And I was so afraid of rerouting her, you can't imagine it. But in the end everything was no problem. It went well, you can see her here. And later she got the dress out of friendship bracelets that I all made myself. She has also very very long hair and I thought for her style for quite a while what to do and after doing it it was not the problem. It was no big problem because I wanted to do it the way I did it. Just try to follow your instincts when doing repairs. Of course you need some skills. You should not be unskilled when with your hands when, when doing any kind of repairs but when you do them it's in general no problem and my advice for you before starting with vintage dolls or old dolls is start with newer ones it's no problem when you practice on newer dolls they mainly have the same problems like the old dolls but the green ears in general. So you can practice before you do anything on, on, on vintage dolls or old dolls and you can see if it's something you would like to do in the future or not. And you don't have to spend so much money and seeing if that if this is maybe a hobby for you or not. So I did this doll many many years before I started to work on the really old dolls like my ponytail swirl that you have probably seen last year in our green ear video where I degreened the ears of this doll because she I got her for only a few bucks and she had the problem with the green ears and I tried several things until I found the perfect solution to cure the green ears and uh, yeah she is cured now and I have not broken her in any way so that's my advice for you when before you start to work with the old dolls start with the newer ones because you can practice and if something goes really wrong it's not the big problem with the money you know older dolls cost a lot more of money than newer ones like from the 90s because they were mass produced and these old were also mass produced but not in the same quantity like the 90s dolls or the ones produced in 2000 or after 2000 that's so that's my advice for you if you are afraid of breaking an old doll start with the newer ones and then slightly work up to the older ones if you want and see if that's a hobby for you or not so thanks for watching everybody i hope we see each other next week stay healthy stay safe See you in the next weeks. Give me a thumbs up if you like my videos.